So I promised this video a long time ago, but how do I create dilutions to go into my collections of notes that are all going into my perfumer's organ? So let me walk you through that today. So first things first is that I use 15 milliliter bottles for my entire collection. I will probably be bumping them up, uh, some of them up to 30 milliliter just because some of them I use them way more. And for each one of these bottles, I mix, I do a dilution of a total of 12 grams of material. And here's a breakdown for the dilution. So I would put 1.2 grams of the concentrated material versus 10.8 grams of the carrier that I'm using. All right, so let's do a dilution from scratch. All right, and here's a really, really fun box. Um, this is kind of all the notes that I've bought that I want to study, that they're not part of my entire collection of notes, but these are some that I wanted to study to see how I could use them. Um, for example, I have uh, beeswax, absolute, super expensive. Um, let's see what else. I got here some blue lotus, absolute, also quite expensive. Um, what I'm looking for is Immortal. I bought, I do have a sample, four milliliter sample of Immortal Flower that I wanted to study for a special project. Give me a second. Ah, so here we go. I have an extract of Immortal Flower in a, f a four milliliter sample. And when I'm in discovery mode for new material, I always go for like the four milliliter samples because it can really, really add up. So I don't even know if I'm, I want to use it. So I'm not going to break the bank over something new, right? All right, so let's do this dilution. I forgot to mention that I do all my dilutions at 10%. So that breakdown of 1.2 versus 10.8 of carrier uh, equates to 10 per, a 10% dilution. So for the most part, all my dilutions are 10%. Sometimes I will bump things down to 1% when the, the material is extremely loud and um, present. So example, I have some dilutions of 1% for vanillin, uh, oud, uh, maltol, ethanol, civet, and a lot of the scatter notes, I'll have 1% dilutions as well, because at 10%, they tend to be a little bit too loud. So I use the eye balance 101. So this is one that I actually studied on when I was taking uh, sessions, the intensive session with the Institute for Art and Olfaction. Uh, this baby is a workhorse and I have it all the way to the third decimal in terms of precision, uh, which makes it quite um, it makes it quite sensitive. Watch, if I just blow on it, it's going to vary. See that? I'm just blowing on it, so it's quite sensitive. All right, so I'll start by putting my component onto it. And I'll zero it out. So now um, it removed the weight of the component itself. Okay, and here we have the material. I'm going to be really, really careful. It's kind of hard to do this with the phone in my face, but um, all right, let's do this. So I have a new pipette, so I'm grabbing a little bit of the material, and I'm going right in, and remember it was 1.2 that I wanted to bring it to. Oh, it smells really good, by the way. Okay, and we're almost there. There's a precision of about 0 0.015 per drop. All right, almost there. And I'm going to stop here. So I'm going to stop here because I'd rather be a little bit under than way over. And by the way, it smells really fantastic. If you haven't smelled uh, the smell of the um, immortal flower, it's uh, really me medicinal, slightly woody, and it has a hay-like and almost dry grass scent. Uh, I wouldn't say it's very floral. It uh, is much uh, dry, grassy, and hayier, hayier, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to add the carrier now for a value of uh, 10.8. And I just zeroed it out so that I'm starting afresh. And the carry I'm using, oh my god, the carry I'm using is DPG. Um, FYI, don't do this. Don't, uh, don't do as I'm doing. There's a reason why I'm doing it this way, uh, which is like a whole video in itself. Uh, but go for the carrier that is closer to what you're doing. Like if you're using an oil, like let's say coconut uh, oil, you'd probably want to use that. The most common is to use just perfumer's alcohol. That's the one I recommend. So don't do it with DPG. Um, if you want to know, like either DM me or like leave a comment below asking me why I'm doing it with DPG. There is a long explanation and it has to do with the way I work. 
But yeah, no professional is going to tell you to use DPG as the carrier. I'm just different that way. All right, so let's go ahead and add 10.8. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this off camera and I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm done. I went a tad over, but it's close enough. So from this point, I could just close it and shake this baby up. So shake that. And this whole process is what, what I'm doing when it's a uh, liquid format, a solid format. There is like a little heating to do, but I can show, show you how that happens in another video. The last step is I need to label this. So I create my labels with this old typewriter because I'm vintage that way and I found these uh, really cool labels that I can use in this uh, typewriter. So what information am I putting on the label? So a couple things. I'm going to put what it is, of course, and I'm going to put this cast number. So this cast number is a number that is standard across the industry that tells us what this particular material is, where it comes from, etc. So I'm going to put that information. And what I'm starting to do also is I'm putting the information of when I created the dilution, because you can only keep material for a certain amount of time. So I think it's a good practice to also put the date of dilution. So now the material is labeled and there is one more step. I need to enter it in what I like to call the Perfumer's Bible, which is my spreadsheet of all of the material that I have in my current Perfumer's organ. And I could go through this in another video, but in a nutshell, you have all of my materials. I color-coded certain things. What's in orange is I still need to add the information. Uh, but all in all, I have all sorts of info on here, like the uh, required uh, percentage in a solution. Um, is it a top, mid, or base? Uh, some notes, personal notes on um, everything that I've been picking up when I've been studying this material, what it mixes well with. Uh, so basically, every Thing. All of my knowledge on the material appears here. And I do this whole process for every single new piece of material that I am adding to my organ. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like and follow, and I will do, be doing a walkthrough of my perfumer's organ, as well as talking a little bit more about uh, my spreadsheet where all my material appears on.